Okie dokie. Here we go. I've been mean to review this game for a long time, couldn't find it for ages. Congratulations to Speedy Fuck for finally finding me a working uh, copy of this game. It's an international rugby simulator for the ZX Spectrum by Codemasters. I have the original upstairs in my uh, bedroom somewhere, hidden in a box. Near my the actual Spectrum I have and some other rubbish from uh, my childhood. And this is like a rugby game, obviously. No, re really? Is it a rugby game? I thought it was fucking football. Might be football. Anyway, just in time for the Five Nations. About two months too late. It's a rugby game. Let's start. Bit of 80s music. Can't beat it. So here we go, rugby. You can only pass backwards. If you're not familiar, if you're an American, because a lot of my subscribers are, and you're not familiar with the sport rugby, it's a bit like American football, except to people uh, they don't have that poncy uh, protection on, and they get the, they get shit kicked out of them routinely. The game doesn't stop every two seconds either. You don't need a referee saying first down and shit. And you don't get quite as many statistics. I know American sports, they love statistics. How many yards they've run. How many fucking pass they've run. How many pancakes they had the day before. So you've got to pass the ball backwards. You can't pass forward. You've got to try and gradually make ground. I seem to be getting nowhere. You can, you can punt the ball upfield if you know what you're doing. It's not too bad a representation of sport. It's, it's a pretty hard game to to get going uh, to do, really. Oh, bloody hell. I'm on the break. Come on, get to that line. Going backwards. It's quite a hard sport to get good. It's quite. I like soccer. Oh my god, I can't believe they said the word soccer. That's just for you Americans. Football. It is pretty hard to uh, simulate, really, because there's a lot more complicated rules. This game makes a good stab at it. Unfortunately, it does get badly repetitive. Now, if the ball gets stuck too long, you have a scrum, which means you've got to waggle your joystick with your keys. Like a nutter, see? I've got some 80s music playing, it's a wonderful life, because I think the 80s was a wonderful time. Another scrum, at least to be there, they'll win this this time. Yeah, piss on me. We got the ball back. You need about four years of free time before you can kick it though. Nice song. This is his Wonderful Life by uh, Black, I think. It's a nice song. Because I've got to admit, my favourite time in my life was when I was a kid. Playing these sort of games. As well as I probably had more fun playing, watching Danger Mouse and playing this, to be fair. It's a wonderful, wonderful... But it's nice to reminisce about old games. This is what I'm here on YouTube for. I don't need a fucking entertaining with tales of uh, the latest Grand Theft Auto game. I can't seem to get forward. Oh, shit, I'm going Oh, another good... I didn't realise how small the pitch was. I'm going to score a try. Break his fucking neck! Tackle him! No! Tackle him! Break his neck! He's kicking it. Sack him, as they say in American football. What a try. Can they pull off the conversion? No. Anyway, this is Codemaster attempt to. Uh, oh, this is, this is a conversion. You get an extra point. He's done that well. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Look at the thing, Dukes of Hazard. 
So this is like one of the probably the best of the uh, rugby games on the spectrum. Cody Masters actually d did quite well making this game because it is a bit like rugby. Yeehaw! Fuck off! Yeah, it worked. I didn't say yeehaw. I said yeah. They made not a bad start about rugby. Even EA these days, you know, masters of uh, simulations and whatnot. But come on, get it! No, you kicked it out. You threw it out. You twat. That's ours. Even they don't know what they're doing half the time when they make games. The crowd animated. Come throw it. Oh, I love the 80s. Touchback. Oh, you cocks. Anyway, this is the game. I'm going to get 6 out of 10. The other uh, rugby game, which of any note, was Audiogenics Rugby, International Rugby. Arctic, who made uh, Arctic uh, Soccer and World Cup Carnival, which I've reviewed and not uploaded yet, probably. Uh... They made a rugby game, but this is probably the, probably the best of them, and it's boring as fuck. The last time I played this, I admit, uh, no one scored a try in about half an hour of play. Just it was just to and fro. If you get a breakaway, you're alright, but it's just like the real sport, really, because without all the kicks, because it's hard to get away from defenders and stuff. You just go back and forward, back and forward. So yeah, I'm going to give this, I don't know if I gave it a rating before, I forgot. 6 out of 10. Uh, so there you go. Who won the Five Nations this time? I don't know. Was it uh, Was it Wales? Was it France? Was it Italy? I can't imagine Italy won. They're too worried about the pizzas. So anyway, 6 out of 10. Cheerio.